apparently getting worse. Urgent, urgent! Somebody get out! We had a collapse at the second tower! Everybody's running from there. This is our... My hearts go out to all, all of the people affected by this. They don't deserve this. These are innocent people. This is a horrible attack. When you think of the sneak attacks that have been perpetrated, there's no military purpose of this. This is cowardly. It was awful. It was horrible. The people in the city of New York are going to demonstrate as we Yeah, we're jammed down in the street over here. We can't even move the car. I'm leaving the shelf with the rig. I'm heading over that way. Five nine in Manhattan. We're gonna be severely delayed to the 17 battery place. We're in heavy, heavy traffic. Okay. Are you for victims. How do you feel personally when you see this? Uh, it pales. It's just too much. I mean, all the civilians and all the members of the job, the reality is not going to come for a couple of days when we start putting all the names together. How do you feel right now? Uh, right now we're all alone. The second day men came down. Total order. So we have no contact with anybody. I mean, uh, think about it. Look at this and you just say to yourself, why? There's no justification for this happening. None. Yes, I'm in Division One's area. Do you want me to respond down to the sea captain? It's nothing. All of the people We're that are laid in here, there's no rescue. There's just recovery. And it's, I don't know if they really want to do what it, what they have to go and do there. It's just body parts. Do you know what I mean? It's just, you just go in there to like recover body parts. It's not about, there. there's no one alive there. You know what I mean? No, I think there's going to be people in there. I heard someone say, why would they have all these people organized if there weren't anybody in there? It has to be. You can't give up. You just have to wait and see. Dave, mobile command to, uh... This is Italian floor, Alpha. I have dozens and dozens of firemen. We're at the bulkhead on the Hudson River side of the World Trade Center. We have medical emergencies. We have EMS on the team. Three possible heart attacks. Uh, we're in the process of getting some kind of a roll call. We're going to try to keep the units together here, guys. Stand by, Manhattan. Firefighters and police officers. We lost the deputy chief of the fire. You need the oxygen. And uh, the chief of the department. The chief of the fire department. The first deputy commissioner. Feehan. Deputy commissioner Feehan. Chief Gancy. 
They just took two way to Manhattan, case. On the way down, they, 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 I just gave a par party. Yeah, right, right, right. We're on the uh, West Street on the, uh, at the Battery Tunnel. Uh, condition, uh, the building is to zero. It's time to uh, clear up. We're starting to see a lot of speech here. Uh, give us time so we could uh, report back to you and uh, for further instructions, okay? We'll keep looking. Uh, we have the command post establishing command channel. Find as many possible locations that they might be in, in some way in a void or whatever, and um, you know still be able to breathe and, and still alive. But we believe that uh, most of these people, I think, are, are going to be uh, un unable to to pull out. Call five to I understand that the command post has been moved north of Vesey Street. I'm going up to Chambers and West. Let's see if I can find out. Uh, find I'll talk to you when I get another radio. It's just, uh, it's a devastating thing. I don't, I don't know what. Vision 1, I think it's going to happen. Well, the fire department will, will recover, but I don't know how. Everything south of the Brooklyn Bridge is in a dust cloud. There's no visibility. People all over the street. Travel is near impossible. We everybody should have as the hours pass, the reality becomes less believable. New York has been devastated by this terrorist attack. Desperate rescue efforts are responding. Emergency teams digging for survivors in the debris of the crumbled buildings. They work with the constant fear of other buildings collapsing. Hospital staff stand by in the hope that some of the thousands missing may be pulled out alive. There are reports of some buried in the rubble making calls from mobile phones. New York's Mayor Rudy Giuliani spent the night on the streets to comprehend what has happened to his city. It's terrible. I mean, the damage is terrible. And people are doing everything that they can to rescue as many people as possible. And this is going to be a long-term So. I just wanted to make sure that everything is going to be here, and it is, so... Manhattan on the FBI if you Only minutes after the first tower collapsed, the second followed, imploding, cascading downwards in a wave of rubble, overtaking the office workers as they desperately scrambled down the smoke-filled staircases seeking an exit. The video recorded the scenes at the base of the tower as the rubble hit the streets. I hope I live. I hope I live. It's coming down on me. Here it comes. I'm getting behind a car. Get What's happening? What's happening? Just get ready to get out of here. The affluent streets of South Manhattan were turned into a terror zone at the height of the rush hour. Emergency teams trying to evacuate the area were caught in the rain of falling rubble which smothered and crushed everything beneath it. There was nowhere to hide. Mass panic gripped the streets as the crowds fled. We all started running. I, I, 
And I, I ended up inside the Hilton somewhere. I was uh, trapped. I don't know where I was. I, I couldn't find my way out. It was 